What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. And in this episode we are continuing our Blitzkrieg through Persia. And they've got a lot of troops. So what I'm probably going to want to do is make some holes in the wall and then kill a whole bunch of them with quicklime. Because the thing is, uh, cities that have big populations of lots of units, even if they're just chaff units, because they don't route so easily, they bog you down. So... One thing you'll definitely want to do is uh, push forward and thin them out prior to making your final attack. Otherwise, what you'll find is you, you will eventually be spread too thin fighting too many individual small combats. Which in a city like this is, is, is lethal. It really is. But we've got the old quicklime. So let's make some holes in the wall. Okay, because I actually need to kill guys, I might put one of their batteries over here. And these two support the frontal assault. Let's take both the most sepoys and two East India Company infantry to sit and blockade the holes, the, uh, the breaches. The rest of my men can sit in the trees. Deploy my cavalry, deploy my general. And let's get at it. Start making some breaches, but then this unit wants to hit them. So this is the tactic that I've been told so many times is brilliant, and I know it's brilliant, because look. Although, granted, that time it wasn't quite as brilliant. Um, but the idea is that because the the field, the pattern of effect of a quicklime shell is egg shaped, then if you do that, you you get more kills. So the other units, to be honest, the other units for now. Let's try and attack the cavalry in the centre. Let's thin their their more devastating cavalry out. Because this unit on the flank is going to hit lots of uh, musket men on this wall. Our field artillery is going to is doing an excellent job in making a breach. They're all doing a terrible job. Fire! A couple more volleys and that will be a clear section. There we go. The hearts are shooting at the wrong target. Okay, let's get this hearts unit start to work at some of these other musket units. Field howitzers should start to do a great job here. These are lovely targets to shoot at. They have mortars in here, but I don't I don't think I can pick out their flag. Two units of Ayadi? Yeah they do. Ayadi, Ayadi. So we've got one breach. That'd be a nice quick climb target, and it would be a nice field artillery target. Go on, you fellas. They can't. I, I, I highly doubt they can damage and destroy the war, the the pathway on the far side of that tower on that of that wall with one volley. It might be 50%, which if they did, that would be a great kill. A great set of kills. Actually, no, Kiz or Bashi are the better ones to go for, I think. No, not yet. Keep reloading. Because at the very least, we'll then, we'll then pin... I mean, it's only 20 men, but we'll pin some more troops 
Let's see if any of the artillery that lands in the centre does any damage. Lots of big misses. I don't see any how it's shots coming in. One more volley, maybe. It's coming in. Let's see how. See if we can destroy the walkway. Let's get everyone working on this section of wall. Are you even firing? You are good. So if we can destroy this section of wall, that'll kill all those guys and all these guys as well. 19% should be enough for our next volley of field artillery to destroy it. Hey, there's guys down there. Excellent. Let's keep... You shoot at them. Actually, you might go after these units. This one already deployed on this flank can go after this unit of Feline Musketeers. That's two units routing. I can thin out some of their troops a bit more. The 25th Regiment of Artillery is going to open up. Hopefully kill a bunch of men on the walls. Quick lime shells away. Bit wide. Still good enough to get some kills. Okay, the men defending the wall look very... So I could probably push my men out to attack this section of wall here. The men protecting the... The front of the fort look very weak. So let's see if we can... We've not got kills on these Felain, which is upsetting. There we go. see another volley from the 25th go in. These guys should be firing a bit faster because they're firing round shot. There they are. Let's see if we can see another... Ooh. Just in time I caught that because this could be a great shot. Some kills... Tempting to begin a bit of an offensive. Let's get both these guys to work on this section of wall here. You guys are probably ready push up as well because they do have mortars so when the mortars engage things are going to get busy quick so my infantry to push up and make quick work of this unit of Felain musketeers
you might even be able to hit some of the centre, really. That's such a good target for those howitzers. My men are very vulnerable at the moment. So I'm, I'm glad they're shooting at my men at the fr my men charging at the front. They can push back these two units and open up the front. Oh yes. Right, this unit bombard the center. One of these other howitzers, to be honest, all of these howitzers bombard the center. Pushed away. You men attack. You men attack. My Maison de Roy hunker down at the front. These men all make their way up the walls. Feline Musketeers on the right are deploying. You're a lovely target. I don't want to deploy in yet, because all these guys have to go somewhere. Let's mass our men on the walls. See, they know where the strength is. They're all falling back to the center. Let's bring my cavalry up. So you've captured the central gatehouse, but I'm not going to go to work. Oh no. Try run my guys away from the gate because right now they're, they're charging cavalry out. Okay, now they are deploying the men in the centre. You guys both work on that feline musketeer unit. You guys start to try and keep blowing your way into the centre. Guardsmen are a bit close, really. You men charge the Feline. Let's also try get my cuirassiers in. See, my guardsmen should be doing okay. Okay, there we go. They've now thrown their reserves into the mix. But you guys can wait. You men. You men load and fire against anyone except the units up on the wall. My Maison de Roy have gone out of square again, so let's go back into square. Is that routing? Not one of ours. Good.
try getting my cavalry through. Okay, this has the potential to go funny. Getting men off the walls, my guys have again got back out of square. Kill that last guardsman, that should be good. have to drop some danger close quick lime you guys can continue to bombard the guys in the center you men deploy like so you men deploy there you guys hit the musketeers there you guys push through the gate you guys push down off the gate. I mean, they've got a square behind there. I might actually get all these guys to instead. Drop shells in the center. You guys need to fight. That unit of musketeers. You guys are going to win against the dervishes. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Light cavalry. Let's get the light cavalry over around here. Let's get my general involved. You guys shoot the bejesus. Okay, those men were getting attacked by everybody. Okay, let's get you guys back onto quick climb duty. You guys have to get out of. Oh, you guys need to charge hit the guns, you guys run in. Cassia is still fighting at the center. You guys charge the armed populace. You guys charge the Eastern Garrison. There are good cavalry in the centre, so you need to be a bit careful. T units routing. So you might go help. Because this cavalry is not doing anything, let's send those guys to go help against the musketeers there. Okay, let's get all you guys. Let's have the cavalry in the centre. Let's try to get our general around to try and do some good work. This infantry unit's come back. charge the levy keep cutting your way through the armed populace slowly feeding their way through the gates hundred and eleven men send you into these musketeers as well because unfortunately they are winning annoyingly
Kill the armed populace. If we can kill the armed populace, we can get through to the centre. Maison de Roy, go hit the, the Bohemian Levy. Okay, you guys all hit that unit. You guys line up and start to shoot the Ahadi. Start to try and do some damage to them. You guys line up and start to engage the cavalry in the centre. Get this unit of sepoys up here as well to shoot. go the bulk of their morale is broken the guys in the center have broken let's get someone over here to begin capturing but it looks like we've managed to break their morale without actually um taking the center or killing their general but we lost a lot of men some of these men have become serious veterans overnight but the city is ours so where are their forces there's no one available to immediately recapture the city which is excellent so we can rebuild we can replenish where is their university there it is let's burn that down let's burn down the other one let's also burn down the madrasa that's not going to go down super well there are more troops to the southeast, but they're not immediately available to do anything about us. Everyone else is still advancing. Make ready, sir. You might actually go hit this force here to see how well depleted they are. Okay, no. You guys fall back. You guys are in position. We've got men in the center. Got another force building here in Lahore. You're pushing up. Theodore's replenishing before the final push on Afghanistan. So then down here, we do have a Austrian army there, but I would like them to try and attack me. Yes. So I might get this army that's being built to actually sit here. I think they're close enough to defend, or to be brought in to help us defend, if we want them to. Fundamentally, what I really want to do is just push through here. And then start to try and sail troops up to land at Naples and into the center. That's what I'd really like to do. I've got buckets of money though, so I'd probably be dumb to just sit here and not use it. Okay, hold on. Before I start doing that... Maurice Duplier. Two artillery, another cavalry unit. I'd probably like you to get some kind of You got a lot of guard infantry already. Get some Indian mercenaries. Yeah. Yes, oh no, there we go. Forward. What? Okay, let's cancel the Cancel the mercenaries. We've got two heavy cavalry, I'd like a light cavalry as well. Okay, let's do that. You're pushing over here. Ahmedabad. Let's get the, the crux of a new army recruited at least. Yes, sir. Let's do some rebuilding. So you, you're waiting for this yes, artillery. Okay. Make ready. So you could probably do with an, a... You do French East India Company infantry, I think. Orleans broken, so he can't research. I mean, it's being garrisoned or occupied by the the Austrians. Yes, sir. Lord, so 
so you pretty much need some elite infantry. So let's get which we are recruiting. Good stuff. So you're hunkering down here, but you need artillery chiefly. So we're not at war with Sweden anymore. There we go. So you're being built up potentially to land at Amsterdam because we could get straight in there and take the city. What I really want to do is hit and turn. I'm tempted to check if we've got no troops undeployed. Like they're on the march towards Baghdad. So let's hit and turn. Our spies are pushing up. Britain still exists as a small enclave off the coast of what would be Estonia, I suppose, in modern day. To be honest, if they're going to give me the opportunity to go on the offensive in Europe, then I'd be silly to not take it. It might mean we'll end up meeting more in the middle. Okay, so we need to garrison that bridge to this to the south of Baghdad with a force to stop them from getting around our to the rear and causing problems. Persia falling back to Ardabil. You're pushing Okay. So it looks like that those Persian forces there have split up to cause some problems. Or at least they've not gone the same direction. Persia will probably need to recruit some forces to clear up raiders and we do want to push on Afghanistan this isn't going to be the the blitzkrieg I would like I mean it's possible I mean possible sort of it is we it is within the realms of possibility we capture Natural causes. Philip above. No. Okay, well you're my alert army. Just in case something goes awry in the Americas. I'm putting a bit of a garrison army here. Get our ships back in port after we failed to find what we were looking for. Okay, tea plantation, good. Craft workshop in Guatemala. And that force will be ready to move in a few turns. So let's keep building so you men have combined in Lahore these Gurkhas are going to march down here I think that's the last oh no it's not, I've got loads of Gurkhas being built good stuff so you can leave Punj Lahore you can, but well, we're going to tax you to help pay for our military machines make ready we do need to start clearing up some of these troops. To be honest, we're in a good space to do that. This army, Theodore, can march south. It's a lot of native lancers, a lot of cavalry. You need more howitzers, really. Gaston can garrison Fort Peshwar. You can push south, ready to go hit Hushang Romani. You guys. These guys are going to fall back, just to make sure they don't try. If I push and attack them, I don't want these guys to have the freedom to run through here. So I want you to attack you. Then you will be ready to prosecute you while Theodore chases down the remnants of this army. You're going to go hit Afghanistan, take that region. You're not a full army, but we don't need to do anything about you yet. You push west to trap these guys in the valley. 
Zahedan, you guys are replenishing, which is great. So let's build one church school. Let's build the happiness building and let's build an industrial building. Let's see if they go for the the bait. So let's recruit a bit of a, a more authentic army for chasing down raiding troops. You, on the other hand, can go march straight up to Ardabil. No, you cannot. You're going to wait. We've got a bunch of infantry. We need to take them out first as well. Not we'll take them out as well. So we're blockading their ships. They can't blockading their port. They can't go anywhere. They can't cross this section of the river. So you march up. What do you see? I mean, demand the surrender of Baghdad because they have no actual troops. These men, I hope, yes, not quite, can march up and cover the bridge. So Baghdad is ours without a shot being fired. Keep rebuilding. Let's build some walls. You guys don't need to replenish. Destroy the university. Pleasure Garden Steam Powered Factory. Well, we'll destroy the, we'll destroy the university and we'll replace it with a... Church school. That's gone quite well, because then these guys will be well placed to block these troops. If they try to push up towards Baghdad, they either have to go this way, they'll likely raid their way up to Baghdad, I suppose. Metro demands from Persia, but now they're okay. They're not entirely okay. Um, can't tax them. I'm replenishing my men. One more turn, they'll start breaking stuff. There's lots of recruitment. I mean, surely soon they should be okay. Ridges and Rest is meant to go down. I can't upgrade any of the happiness buildings. They're already at max happiness. I could destroy the Steam Powered Factory to get a minus... or to get rid of some of the industrialization and happiness. It's an idea. Well, let's do that. Let's knock one down and stop building this to get rid of some industrialization and happiness. I can always rebuild it because I have loads of money. The agent executed in Afghanistan. They found him. Let's take Mathi Mathis de Gubrian. Let's go and attack the city of Kabul. They have no defenses. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for an episode that's going to be chock full of battles. We're going to fight this one here, probably going to push down and take them, and probably some other battles as well. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.